Welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla video. Meme coins have been going absolutely nuts, especially on Solana and Base. And I'm getting asked seven times per day where I trade my meme coins, if it's through Uniswap or Dex Tools or wherever. The answer is none. I use a tool called Shuriken. Now you might remember I made a tutorial for the Shuriken web app a while back. Unfortunately, the web app is still only ETH mainnet and we want Solana, we want Base. But luckily for us, their Telegram bot, which is amazing, has ETH mainnet, Solana, Base, and and blast all in one place and it works on any device with telegram so your desktop your laptop your mobile device while you're on the go everything is linked it is my favorite tool i absolutely love it so i figured i would show you guys how to use it now it's free to use in the sense that there's no membership fee however like every tool out there there is a one percent trading fee on your trades so please do keep that in mind when you're trading also i will put a referral link in the description down below if you want to support me feel free to use it i'm also going to show you how to generate your own referral link so you can invite others and start earning fees off of them especially if you know a whale who's trading millions of dollars you definitely want to refer that person to use your shuriken link now quick disclaimer before we get into this meme coining is not easy i know you're seeing a bunch of people post trillions of dollars of profits from one single trade and it makes it look incredibly easy. It's not. This is very much an insider's game. For every one person who wins, there's 99 others who have lost money and gave it to that person essentially because this is PVP and using Shuriken or whatever other tool out there is not going to magically make you a good trader. This is a tool to add to your arsenal. You're still the one going to war and you're still the one who could potentially get obliterated. So if you lose thousands of dollars doing this, don't come crying to me. So now that you've understood that and you've used my referral link to install Shurik or install to get the channel for Shuriken on your Telegram, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is slash start. Now I'm not gonna click it because it would show my Telegram name and I don't want these scammers to start sending me a bunch of spam. However, I also use slash start. Sometimes like it's, it's Telegram, right? Sometimes it's a bit slow. I need to turn it off and on, like turning off and on your router. So that's when I use slash start it kind of refires it and it works immediately. So slash start is the first thing you're gonna do. You don't have to memorize this. If you just press slash, all the commands pop up. So you can even just do slash and then click the one you want. But in that start message, you're gonna see, hey, you need a wallet. So the next command you're gonna do is slash wallets. So yours is gonna be blank. I already have wallets on every chain. So you can see my wallets here. However, you're going to want to go ahead and pick the chain you're gonna to wanna to trade on. If you wanna trade on all four, feel free to do this for all four, but to start, let's just click Solana. And then from here, you can either generate a wallet within Shuriken. They are going to show you a private key, so make sure you're not live streaming, make sure there's not people standing next to you recording your screen or whatever. And from there, you would just save the key and then give your wallet a name. When I say save the key, I don't save it on my computer, I just immediately import it into my MetaMask. But what I prefer to do is import a wallet from my MetaMask that I use specifically for trading, not my vault that has all my expensive assets, a new wallet that I've just funded for trading and I click import. If you click import, it's gonna say, hey, what's the private key? And then it's going to ask you to name the wallet. So once that's done, if you do slash wallets, you should in theory see your Solana or whatever chain you chose wallet. Next, assuming you have put money into the wallet, let's start trading. So if we wanna start trading, we are gonna need a contract address. You get this from either the official Twitter, be careful, there's a ton of scams in the comments, or you go on a tool like Dex Tools or Birdseye, and here you can search all the trending tokens. You can also search them manually, be careful. There's a ton of scams in here. There's a ton of honeypots and fake tokens. You always wanna make sure you are clicking the official one, again, by double checking with the official Twitter. However, typically if it has a super high market cap and, and like a history of trading, it's usually the official coin. So from here, you could see the contract address right here. I'm just going to copy that. We're gonna head back into Shuriken and I'm just going to paste the contract address and boom, the options to trade this token pop up. Now you're gonna have less info than me. I already purchased this token not too long ago, so I do have some of it in my wallet. However, you will have some similar information to me. You have the ticker, which is Nick, the name of the token, I choose rich every time, the contract address, which we just pasted. We have links if you wanna see it in deck screener or bird's eye. And that's really if you wanna go look at the chart or the transactions that are coming through. You see the market cap and you see 
how much you're holding if you have it. So I'm up 8.93%, let's go. I click refresh, there you go. I just went down 3%. We can also see how many tokens I'm holding, what the Solana value is of those tokens if I were to sell right now, the dollar value if I were to sell right now, and how much it costed me. So I'm up like 0.2 Solana. So we're gonna go through all these buttons in a second. Let's just try buying one. So let's pretend you wanna buy the Nick token or whatever token you chose. Right here, you're gonna have four different buy options. Yours are gonna be different than mine. I will show you how to change these, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna click buy X, which is going to let me manually select how much I want to buy. So for this tutorial, if you're testing it out, you can do zero, zero, one, right? You don't have to put a crazy amount. I'm just gonna do one Solana because YOLO. So I click enter, boom, it is going to confirm. And there you go, my purchase went through. It is telling me I just bought 17,000 Nick tokens for 0.99 Solana. I did one Solana, but remember it does take 1% of your trade, so 0.99 Solana. So here you'll now see my cost went up before I was at three, now I'm at roughly four Solana in, and we are slightly up. Again, Again, it automatically updates. I like to click refresh. Here you go, we're back down. We were up 20% two seconds ago. Now we're only up 9.24%. This is gonna automatically refresh, but I like to spam the refresh button and just force it to refresh. So we just purchased some Nick tokens. Let's say I want to sell a token. I don't wanna sell this one because I just purchased it and I've been accumulating and it's gonna to go to a billion market cap. I wanna sell one of my other holdings. For this, I would click slash positions it's going to bring up my holdings. And I'm currently holding Blue and Nick. And you can see I am up quite a bit on Blue. I put in, I think if we click on the token here, it is going to make it automatically pop up without me having to paste in the contract address. And here you can see I put in three ETH to this token and I am currently almost at 11 ETH. I am up 270% on this token. That's a great win, right? So I wanna take some profits out. We have many options here. I can sell 25%, 50, 75. Again, yours are different. I will show you how to change them. I could sell all of it in one shot. I could sell a specific percentage. I could sell a specific amount in ETH or I can sell my initial investment. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to do sell a percentage. I'm going to put in 10%. It is going to automate, or it's going to ask me, hey, do you really want to sell 10%? Here's the price impact of your sale. I have a slippage that I already set. I'll again show you how to change that. I'm just going to do yes, because I do want to sell. I'm going to confirm and voila, my transaction has gone through. And you could see now I have a realized profit of 1.05 Ethereum. It's also gonna automatically generate for me this image. Let's pretend I wanted to get it on my own. I would just come here on the token specifically and click PL, which stands for profit and loss. And it's gonna generate a beautiful image that I can go ahead and flex on Twitter. Cool, so now that we know how to buy and sell, we want to start playing around with these options. So you can either do slash settings or you can just click settings from here if you're already in there. However, let's do it for Solana. So I did slash settings. You're gonna to wanna to set it for every single chain. Let's just click Solana. And from here, we have a few things that we can set. I don't really touch the buy prio. I honestly have no idea what it does. What I personally change is the slippage and these options, these quick options, because when I'm trading, I want to be able to quickly buy certain amounts or sell certain amounts. So the first thing is slippage. I don't know what the default is set to. Personally, I like mine between two and 4%. I come and change this all the time. If you're dealing with a hot token, it just launched, a ton of people are trading it. You might need to set it to 10 or 15, right? In order to get your transaction to go through. I find, you know, three, four is usually good. So I just leave mine to four. Same thing for the sell slippage. If you just click it, it's gonna say, hey, what do you wanna set it to? I'm just gonna write four and boom, it would change it if I changed it. The other thing we can change is our initial buy options as well as the sell percentage. I think for you, it's probably like zero, zero one or zero one and then zero, zero five or something, very small numbers. Look, set it to whatever you want based on how much you're trading. If your entire portfolio is 10 Solana, don't have an option here that says 10, right? You're gonna want 0.2 Solana and then 0.5 and maybe one Solana at the high end. 
Me personally, my bag is a little bit bigger. So I set it to one, five and 10, because these are the amounts I want to be buying. If it's a token, I'm confident and I want a good position in boom. I want to be able to just immediately click 10 and it's going to buy 10 soul for me. So just like the slippage, you would just click it and it's going to let you change this option. I can put three. You could see it now says three. I'm going to change it back to one just because that's what I like it. And then same thing for selling 25%, 50, 75. These are just the default percentages I like to have because one thing I do, as soon as a token two X's, I immediately sell 50%. You can also just do sell initial. I like doing 50. I don't know why I'm weird, but set it to whatever you want. There is no correct way of doing it. It's just going to come to you in time. You're going to see what percentages you like to sell and you're going to be able to come back here and set it up. Other than that, I don't think there's much to cover. Like, like I said, there's the refresh button. We're going to see how much profit we have uh, untrack. What this would do is let's say I got rugged on a coin or I sold it outside of Shuriken and it still appears here, but it says minus a hundred percent or whatever. What untrack does is it will take it out of this list. So when you do slash positions, you no longer see it in that list, especially when it's a negative, it is an eyesore. You don't want to see it when you get rugged on a token or you bought a honey pot make it disappear. I don't use much of this other stuff like power mode. I guess this is good when you have multiple wallets, but I don't. So I just leave it in simple clicking share token. I believe this generates. Yeah, this generates a referral link with your, the token. So if you're like, Hey, you should buy this token. I just got in, make sure you generate it with your referral link. So it'll attach them both together. Now you can also just straight up refer people and this would be doing slash referral. And that is going to generate a link for you without the additional token attached to it. And that is the address that you're going to want to spread around. Again, mine is below this video. And that pretty much does it for the shuriken tutorial. It is incredibly simple to use. Once you start, like you're going to get it immediately, at least for this part, right? I'm not saying you're going to be an amazing meme coin trader, right? It is very difficult, like I said, but I love this tool again, both from my desktop and to my phone. Like I buy, I go out, I can immediately trade on my phone. I absolutely love it. This is my favorite tool and I'm happy to make a tutorial about it because it's so great. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace. Uh, uh, uh.